so far this season, I've been to 60 matches. But if there was ever a game I just could not miss, today is exactly that. It is, of course, Millwall versus Sunderland at the Den. My spidey senses tell me this is going to get fucking tasty, baby. It is going to be nothing short of tasty. Let me tell you that. Let's get on the road, shall we? Come on. have arrived in South Bermondsey and we are now outside in my opinion one of the most iconic grounds not just in the country but all over Europe it is of course the Den home of Millwall Football Club today they face the small matter of Tony Mowbray Sunderland it's eighth versus ninth in the championship two sides actually on very very decent form two of the best sets of supporters in the country in my humble opinion i've got a lot of history with them not just this season but seasons prior to this one and i'm expecting an unbelievable atmosphere inside a sold out den that calls for a perfect perfect day at the football 2800 mackham made the long journey down from up north to South East London to be here for actually a very, very enthralling encounter in the championship. I'm so, so buzzing for it, my score prediction. Millwall won, Sunderland won. Let's get into that Docker stand for what calls to be one den roar. I cannot wait for this one. So many things going for this match. I just had to be here. Let's get inside this beautiful, beautiful arena. Around half an hour before kickoff, it is all going off outside the den. This is a mega, mega match day, and one like I've already said multiple times, I am so buzzing to be here for. Here come the teams. Best thing in love. I love this anthem so, so much. The teams are out. We are right by the away, not the worst seat in the house. And it all come down to the A sold out then roars. We're only gonna be them again. We're the best team in London, oh the best team of all. Everybody knows us, we call Bill Wolf. Let them come, let them come, let them come. This is Millwall versus Sunderland. Fuck off! Fuck off! How's that not a penalty? That is a stonewall penalty for Millwall. Maybe I'm a bit biased considering where I am. But lively start! Very lively start! Oh, 
You've got to love it. You've got to love it. I've just seen on the big screen right next to me. Today is the biggest Millwall attendance since 1995. 28 years. 18,000 and something. Unreal. This place is booming today. I don't know if I've mentioned it. It's so, so loud. Shoot! Was George Honeyman put, thought he put Mill 1 0 head, so did the whole day, including near when little did they know offside Lino. Tons and tons of abuse. Oh wow, poor poor Lino. Sunderland fans celebrate, obviously. As I'll you tell you see. something the last five, ten Still minutes have been somehow. absolutely manic on and off the pitch. Mill will have a disallowed goal from George Honeyman. This Lino <laughs> is, let's just say, getting a lot hey! of stick from this ground. And it's so, so funny to witness. Lino, I apologise, mate. <laughs> this is class. Uh, moments to go until half time. Shoot! Oh, that was the last chance of the half. The wall blazed over the top. I've got to say, it's going to be a wicked, wicked second half to come. It's going to be full of action. Half time in the den, I've got to say, I have no idea how this match is goalless. Chances at either end for both teams, particularly Mill, who I think just have the edge in this one. They have been the better team, if I'm being honest. Goals, hopefully, to come in the second half. We'll have to wait and see, but off the pitch. This is bloody lively, as I expected, from the awareness to this lower docker stand. Oh my god, it is deafening. I'd be surprised if I leave this place with a working voice. Boos ring around the ground for the officials, who I agree have been so, so poor, below the standard. But I guess that's EFL officials for you. Always poor every week, no matter what match you're at. A huge second half awaits. And we're back out for the second half. Just kicked off. Just finished. Polished off, demolished off my steak and ale pie inside. I'm real pie here at Millwall. Got to love it. Second half is underway. Sunderland shooting down this end right in front of them. Sold out away end. That is always a recipe for chaos, isn't it? added time for Mill to hold out for an absolutely huge win. Three points sends them into the playoff spots for this week. I think if other results go their way, Sunderland fan still in fine voice. Of course, there is actually still a long way to go and a lot of football to be played. How will the rest of this game pan out? It's been a bloody good one so far.
that is an absolutely huge goal. Sunderland equalise. Wow, what I just said really was true. Still a lot can happen. Still another 10 to 15 minutes to play. Is there one more twist in this one? Millwall one, Sunderland one. Now it's the Sunderland fans who have something to laugh about. Love them or hate them, they are the best fans in the country. And it's as simple as that. Loads to play for. added minutes for either side to find a winner. Six minutes is a long, long time in football terms. No goal there for Millwall, but can them or their opposition find a winner? Ooh, I tell you, it would be something if they did. Uh, it's looking very much like it's going to end in a one-all draw. Point of peace for both sides, I reckon. Sunderland will be the happier of the two teams. They sing your support and shit. I completely disagree. Millwall fans have an overriding, clear love and passion for their club, which I think in itself is extremely commendable. And the fact, the fact Sunderland are without Ross Stewart, their goal machine, they will definitely happily take a point here. But then a hard, hard place to come. Somewhere Millwall have not lost since the middle of September. Full time at the Den, a point apiece. Lie today at the den, I got exactly what I came for an unbelievable atmosphere and a great old school physical football match that certainly did not disappoint. Subscribe down below for more. I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching.